Good morning. My little thing didn't say I had a friend. I'm so I'm glad. Yes, it's a surprise, Kayla. I was literally just talking to you in group chats times five, but um, I was gonna sew it anyways, so why not? So I have to do a swap. Um, I'm glad I signed up for the swap, but then I'm not glad I signed up for the swap because I'm always like this when I sign up for a swap and I'm like, oh crap. Hi, good morning. So I have to sew this in mail today. Um, I'm real sorry to whoever my partner is. I don't know you personally, but it'll be good. It seems pretty simple. So I'm making the Southwest Tote by Hills Handmade. It's free. So if you go on her website, it's a free one. Um, good morning, Mary. Oh, hi, Becky. Oh, good. We got a good um, crew here. So I'm just going to sew up this clear. Um, hopefully my camera's clear enough. I forgot to clean it before I did this. Hi, Danny. Okay, so I'm going to sew this Southeast Travel Pouch by Hills Handmade. And it's for a swap, in case you didn't hear. And it's clear. So I'm going to use this um, TPU from Fabric Therapy. It's the roses. Cute, cute, cute. And what else? It calls for jelly vinyl. I don't know where I got this. Please ignore my cat. She's being a brat. <laughs> um, I forgot this. where I got this color. It might be from Zipper Valley. And our poles, we're going to do Mormino, the little roses, because they're our favorites. And I'm going to put this guy in here. I did it. Boop. Because it matches. Okay. That's really all it calls for. I'm not even going to put my name tag on it or anything. I guess I should, but I don't feel like it. So we got two zipper panels, two like little zipper cover things. You'll see a front and a back and yeah, a pole. I just realized I did a rainbow pole in a silver zipper. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just sewing before work. Well, I was gonna do a really cute one, but I, I don't know if I have nickel roses i might let me check i'm that weirdo i cannot mix silverware silverware hardware <laughs> okay uno momento i'm just checking my stash checking the hoard mm. i'll show you how i hold it yeah. hi erica okay I don't think I have any in silver. I got rose gold up the wazoo. Yeah, it's looking like it's a no, sister. All right. Well, that's distressing to me. I'm now going to go, okay, wait, the first is coming, so I can wait a couple days. What is that, two days I can wait? I guess I'll just do a little heart. These are from, Zipper Valley. How cute! Right? Okay. Well, no, that's a heart and this is flowers. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do my old reliable pop tabs. Those are from Mormino too. And I'll just say, I use a lot of stuff from Mormino. I mean, I just love her that much. That's how good their stuff is, okay? So... I'm trying to um, single-handedly fund the expansion. That's what I'm trying to go with. Charlene says, good morning. You can mix anything with silver. You're right. You can, but I can't. I'm going to go crazy. Oh. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do. Also, I'm drinking my coffee. What's your favorite creamer? I just tried a sweet cream one. It's good. It's just kind of plain, but it's good, you know, and I put a little bit of the zhuzh in there, a little extra. It's um, like powdered instant coffee, and it's like vanilla caramel. It's so good. It's my jam. So I have court this afternoon. We're still in trial. St 
still in trial for it. I can talk about it when it's over, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's a public proceeding. I could technically talk about it, but I shouldn't give my opinion just in case somebody on the jury watches me, which I really highly doubt that, but you never know. Okay, so we're going to take our zipper. I put double-sided tape down here. Let's see. Charlene likes cinnamon roll. Ooh, I'm not much of a cinnamon girl, but that sounds good. I try it. I eat cinnamon rolls. Okay, she says you're going to place your zipper. What is it? What does she call this? zipper panel real okay there you go about a quarter of an inch away from the edge here so a quarter of an inch in away you know what I mean you know what I'm saying yeah so today I have trial and I just have to get this out because it's due <laughs> I don't even remember where it's going somewhere far away also if you're on Instagram I put a little What You Know Wednesday up for cleaning TPU. If you get the ghosting, um, it just seems to be what this textile does. It, and it honestly doesn't matter where I buy it from. They all have done it to me to some extent. So I was playing around with vinegar and alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Like I have these little, here I'll show you. I keep them by my machine to clean my needles off. Um, I, I learned that trick from Shannon over at Knotted Threads. These little prep pads, you can get them on Amazon, like a whole box of them. And I'll use it to like clean my needles off when I use a lot of Decaville light and it's kind of getting sticky on there. So this worked the best. I've also done hot soap and water before. Meh, that was a lot of work. It was a lot of like buffing, you know? But the little alcohol wipe, I just wiped a little section, then took my soft cloth and wiped it before it dried, you know? Oh, perfect. Okay, so here we go. We have it, see how it's like a quarter of an inch away? Hopefully that's right. I mean, I didn't measure. I'm not much of a measurer sometimes. Then she says we, we're gonna put this overlay, zipper overlay fancy business. And I'm going to use some double stick tape. Like, what did I do in life before double stick tape? Do you guys remember that, like, wash away wonder under crap? Oh, man. The stone ages, right? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to lay this zipper overlay on top of that. The edge of your zipper overlay, it's, she said, will be about an eighth of an inch away from your... Zipper teeth, I would go just as, well, I don't know how far this is, but it looks good to me. I've done this method before, but you don't want to make it right up on your teeth because you got to <clears throat> roll that zipper on it, you know? Let's see. Cold, Danny loves the cold stone creamer. I've never tried it. Hi, Karen. Stacy, what was your recent long crazy trial about? Okay, let me think. My brain forgets real easy. Um, oh, that one was prize. Okay, so you know how you get, like, that junk mail in the mail? And it's like, you want a sweepstakes. So it was about um, a company that was printing fake ones. And they were basically preying on elderly people. And elderly people would, like, mail in. It was, like, a whole ring of people doing it, working at this place and printing these fake prize notices. And, um... Yeah, so they were, they were, that's called um, mail fraud and wire fraud. And so they were, they got millions doing it, believe it or not. So that's what it was about. It was kind of crazy, honestly. The main lady that was like the lead, ring, the head ring, like lead of the ring, she was pretty smart about it. She'd been doing it like 30 years through different companies. And then she found this group of individuals that had a print shop in my town. It was crazy. Okay, we're gonna top stitch down each side here, okay? On all four, boop, boop. So, long story short, they got guilty, but this lady, she she even had an alias, Betsy Spider. I'm like, what a name. You could pick any name to go by and you're gonna pick Betsy Spider? I just don't know. Like, that's a big responsibility. I'm kind of glad our parents pick our names, but I like my name, so maybe that's why. Pretty good. 
I try not to move these because I know I blasted Kayla's ears last time. Okay, let me go back here. We got a couple things. Charlene said she recently had jury duty and she stuck her name badge thing sticker on my clear vinyl purse. Oh no. Yeah, I bet. We don't do name badges. We just do like neck hangy things in federal court here. We don't do stickers. What am I making? I'm making a Southeast Travel Pouch by Hills Handmade. It's a free pattern in her group. Well, no, you can just go to her website because I realized it wasn't in her group, so I joined. I don't even know how I saw this swap, but it was like a swap to make one of these. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making one. You are the reason I just ordered way too much nipple zipper tape. I know. I just love it. I don't know why. It's my thing. I used to be rainbow only, but now I'm like, okay, Nickel, you're you're definitely MVP this year so far. Okay. You want to hide your beautiful zipper tape. I know, but now it's kind of like a little pop of color, a little zhuzh, if you will, right? Mail fraud, yep. Yeah, that was that case. They got guilty. I mean, man, it was a valiant effort, though, because I thought they weren't going to get guilty for a sec there. I'm going to do it five for a stitch length. I think I'm going to have to use my zipper foot to get close to that zipper top stitch, unfortunately. I should just switch to, I need to just switch to my skinny foot for more me know, but I'm so used to these feet, and that one, is, I'm going to have to make a bag with it to get used to it a little bit. On my tester, I was a little bit wiggly on the line. It wasn't um, very straight, which I was like, uh, danger, Will Robinson. That's not going to work. It's just, it, it's in my own. Oh, no, sorry, honey. Good morning. Love you. I'll be done in a minute, okay? My, my son just woke up. Yeah, it takes a minute to get used to, right, Kayla? It's not like, it's great. It would be wonderful once I get used to it. Also, from the last live, look what I found. Hope I don't lose them again. Although, these are my, these are my mission besties right now. Look at that. Such a cutie. And I love the blunt stuff. Alright, let's zip down the other outside and then we'll change to our zipper foot. And hopefully this this pouch won't take me three hours, right? Oh crap, I forgot to cut my webbing. Well, you'll have to do that with me. And the dog's barking. Our neighbor doesn't like it when the dog barks. He's a little bit of a bitch about it. I'm like, hey, he doesn't bark before quiet hours are up, so. Let's see what our friend said. You love the skinny foot, Mary? Oh, Stacy, I just saw yours. That is so sad. I'm in insurance. We actually had a fraud claim for a lady that scammed $45,000 by a Nigerian team. Oh, yeah. No, these people are in Las Vegas, so. Yeah. They were just straight getting checks from the oldies. I was like, dang, rude. Recently bought a skinny foot from her domestic and it's a game changer. Oh, that is amazing. Does anyone know if it's possible and fairly easy to sharpen thread snips? You know what? It has to be, right? Let's Amazon it. Let's Amazon it because I'm sure. Oh my God. So funny, Kayla. Your kids are, um, you're going to have to go get your kids from school. No, my kids are just waking up. They do this thing where it's like a sleepover and one sleeps on the floor in the other's room. They do it on the summer. They just love it. Because I give them, like, a whole horde of snacks. And they we're building a Minecraft world together last night. And then I'm not sure what they did. I think they, uh... Mm. Alright, now we're going to do the inside here. Mm -hmm. I am backstitching. My door is shut right now. I'm filming, honey. Sorry, the trash can's in the way or I'll let you come in. There's a trash can and a tripod. It's small in here. It's cramped. I 
honestly, I'm so glad I have this machine. I feel like I can do anything on it. I've made a leather bag before. But I used to make that. We were just talking about how we started sewing this morning on the group chat. And how, how we started sewing like bags and stuff. And my mom and grandma, my mom is a quilter, my grandma was a quilter. And my mom and I would take like a little class here and there. You know, you get a little something up your, a little worm in your brain, you wanna try and make something. But I was like an OG Okorudi back in the day before pandemic. I just happened upon her one day and I think I was at court waiting for a jury or something, just browsing YouTube. So, I used to sew on a Bernina 535, like a quilt machine. It was great, I love that machine. But then I got this one, because I'm like, mm. Honestly, Lauren convinced me. It wasn't hard to do. She can literally convince me to do anything. <laughs> Which is probably not a good thing, but it's okay, we like her. She's amazing. Okay, Sarah, you're, you are so fun to watch. Well, thanks. Thanks, friend. Hi from the UK. I really enjoyed your strawberry bag life. Oh, awesome. Hey, Leslie. All right, our zipper panel is done. Also, I'm thinking about getting another phone. My husband is going to kill me. I'm thinking about getting another phone because I need a phone I can do live and a phone I can, um, a phone I can, like, look at my directions and stuff on because I, you're either a printer or you're not a printer. I am not a printer. I use my iPads at work. Usually I use my iPad. Um, printing instructions, this, I just don't like doing this. This was wasteful to me, but teach their own. I did it today, though. It was only, like, four pages, so. All right, we finished the zipper. Now let's put the poles on, huh? That would be smart. Oh, she did two poles. Mm. The only reason I'm showing this a little bit on camera is because um, it's free. <laughs> I wouldn't normally even do that. But. Also, does anybody know? I had messaged Al Al Alexis over at Aura Rosa. I test for her, and I know she just released her um, Nettie Clutch wallet and the Adina Date Night Clutch today. But um, I'm pretty sure we can make videos now like as a tester I know I can but I'm pretty sure like general public she opened that up a few years ago right I was just trying to find out we're doing the funnest thing a couple so besties um so it'll be and I encourage you guys to do the same it's gonna be so fun so I don't even know who came up with it but we are going to sew up uh, we had like a bunch of bags that we had to pick from um, we all like put in something like the type you like. Hold on. My ADD is like going crazy. What I was going to say is it's going to be Kayla at Carolina Little Stitches. Erin at Better Than Your Bandana. Leslie at Jolili Creations. And myself. And we're all going to make the same bag. It's kind of like a challenge. We're going to do um, like a removable bag element. Like how we do the, um... she's drying right now. Isn't she cute with her edge paint? It's like she's got clothes on now. So this is like a removable bag element. We're going to have to do, we have to incorporate a removable bag element. A, there's my zipper. Zipper, zipper. Oh, remove, sorry. Removable bag element. What else was it, Kayla? I forget. It was Leslie's idea. Yeah. It's going to be so fun. Um, Stacy, do I ever do any quilting? Yeah, actually I do. I made a book bestie with a quilted panel. I did the Oakley Roots block party that one year, but I never finished. <laughs> so I have a bunch of quilt books. My mom makes beautiful quilts. What about another iPad so it's bigger? <gasps> Don't tempt me with a good time. That sounds fun. I knew you weren't a printer, Kayla. I figured that. Could you do crossbody strap on this? Yeah, I bet you could. We'll see. I never made it before. We'll look at it and we'll figure out where we could put it, okay? 
summer themed and removal element. That's what our sew along challenge is going to be. So I'll make sure to film it and you guys can help me because I'm going to try to win. Do, are we putting this up for a vote? Maybe we shouldn't do that. That might. It's just for fun. We're going to exchange them. How do you spell that? Rosa site? I'd love to check her out. Okay, it's Oro, O R, O, it's O R O, and the next word Rosa, R O S A. She also has a YouTube or a Facebook group too. That's your jam. Oh yeah, you, thank goodness for a zipper jag. Yeah, some you either can do it or you can't. I'm just not a zipper. I just don't need it. I could have used it a couple years ago, but alas, here we are. All right, we're gonna do. We got our pulls on. Um. All right, now we want the gusset. And we're gonna sew this on at a three eighth inch seam allowance. Okay. It says the right side of the gusset, like there, what's the right side of jelly vinyl? I don't think there is one, but I digress. Oh, and look, it matched up well. So I must have, uh, I mean the widths. I must have done pretty good attaching my clear zipper part. Three eighth inch seam allowance. Like why is that a seam allowance option? I don't know. Who decided the lengths? Who picked that? I want to be the picker. It's like, who picked words in the dictionary? I don't know. I want to be that person, though. I, I was this close a few weeks ago to contacting Miriam Webster and asking them, do you do chores? Can I meet the person that picks the dictionary words? Can you explain that person, that process to me? Only because my whole job is words, so I'm like, oh, I have a passion for the words. Okay. I'm really glad you guys are here to pseudo talk to me. I, uh, I'm normally just talking to myself in my brain like a crazy with all these thoughts that I'm saying out loud to you. Okay, let's see. Three, eight. Why did the edges look? Okay, yeah. Common. Okay, let's go. Also, I did not change my thread out. It's pink, but I think it works because it's like a real pastel color palette here. It's gonna go down to 4.5. Kills Handy doesn't even know. Oh, you're trying to be rude to me, thread. Not today. Get out of here. Go back to bed. Go. Kills Handy doesn't know I'm doing this. That's. I just thought, mm, might as well go on here. This shouldn't take long, hopefully. I say that every time. Here's an hour and a half video on how to make a pouch that takes really 10 minutes if you're not talking. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're going to flip that back and top stitch. Oh, okay. So I like this, that we're top stitching this. I recently made a pencil pouch. Um... I had some people ask me to make a video on it, but I made the pencil pouch and it wasn't top stitched on this part. And I'm like, mm, I really like that top stitch though. Cause I feel like the pouch kind of buckles in on the side without the top stitch, but maybe I'll try to modify it before I make the video. Look, I have these and I still use the other ones. I think these are just, these are amazing. I'm not saying any digs on it, but I think the other ones are just small enough that they're easier to grab and use and remember. Okay, now we're gonna do the same. Good morning, Cindy. Morning. We're having our coffee. We're stitching the bitchin'. I think that's Kayla's old slogan. Uh, I have a sticker being made right now. It says, Bitch and stitching. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. My mom's like, you're so funny. She's, you would have fit in great in the 70s. Yeah, you probably would have. Probably because you were in the 70s. That's why I love it. Even her music. I'm like, ooh, girl, send me your playlist. Love it. Oh, go back down to a 4.5. We're just attaching and a 3 8 inch seam allowance again. And I am most energetic in the morning. This is just me. At night I get a little bit more sleepy. 
But I wake up early with my husband, so he goes to work early. Now I have to remember this tag. I probably should have, well, she didn't do it. I'm trying to make it how the pattern says for this swap. I always make one and I have this notebook, which I can't find right now, but I have a notebook where I make a page for every pattern. The first time I make it, I write notes. Like, hmm, next time try this. Next time try that. And then when I go and make the bag a few months later, because I have a notoriously horrible memory, I'll remember. Oh, that's right. You didn't like doing it that way. Don't cut that out. You know? Okay. Yeah, cleaning up this TPU was great. It worked great. I'm really glad. Because I live in Las Vegas and it's hotter than a ball sack here. So it is TPU's nemesis. Okay. Oh, you love her snips? Which ones? These ones I just got from Tammy. They are rad. Like, I would take these to the east side where I live. But I just am not used to them yet. These are from Mormy now. They're getting a little dull though. I should look up that um, thing for the uh, sharpening. Where does your mom live? What am I sewing and where does my mom live? This is the Southeast Travel Pouch from Hills Handmade. It's a free pattern on her website. I'm doing a sew along, or not a sew along, a uh, swap. She had hosted a swap on Elster. I don't even know how I found it or saw it or where it came from. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was just looking at my stitching. It looks like my I have like the thread coming up on the top, which means you need to tighten your bobbin, right? Yeah. We're gonna have to do that. But look how clear this is. My mom lives in Las Vegas with me. She is from Wisconsin originally though. So we're going on a trip to Wisconsin in July, if you guys wanna come with me on the gram. Okay, now it says we had marked the centers. And I'm assuming we can actually just cut it because it's gonna be, you know, hidden in the seam allowance. I'm literally just gonna make this how the pattern says this time. I usually modify stuff a little bit. Some. I don't, but 90% of the time I do. Because it's so true. Like, I remember watching Lauren a few years ago, and I was like, man, she just is so good. And she just, like, modifies stuff. How does she do that? And I'm like, but as you sew more, yeah, you're like, yeah, I, re I prefer doing it th this way. I think it's easier. I can see it now. All right, I guess I will do a tag. Might as well. So if my little swappy friend shares, then people will see my name, right? nice. I'm wondering why my child's opening the door. Hmm. Okay. So we gotta pick which one we want in the front. Oh, pretty much the same. I tried to make them the same. This one seems a little bit more off-center. I think I'll do this one. And I think, well, I, I got my metal, oh my gosh, I got my metal bag tags in. Do you want to see them? I'm in heaven. A literal heaven. Look at this. This is silver, nickel, whatever, you know what I mean. Oh, stop it. Look at that. Is it focusing? Focus, girl. Okay, I got this and I got rainbow. And I love it. So yeah, do it. If you were on the fence about it, just do it. These are great too. I'm not saying, I mean, I think they're all, they each have their own uses. Like I wouldn't use a metal bag tag on this, right? But a cork, sure, sign me up. That'll do. We still have to cut our handles. You can help me pick out what they I'm just finding my centers on these real quick. I wish I was a person who could cut everything out and then cut my centers and then sew, but I just, I 
I'm, I'm just not that organized like that. All right, I'm, I would normally probably also do a backing on this, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't know why, I'm just not okay. I just really wanna, I don't need to put too much extra effort into. Um, let's see, let's do this at one and a half up and centered. I'm winging this part, like who knows if this is going to be good, but you can just put your ruler behind your clear, see, boop, easy. Also, this eight and a half by eight, this thing gets used on the daily, definitely get one of these. I keep this by my sewing machine on my cart. Okay, let's sew that on. So when I sew on my cork tags that are printed from Heartwood and Hyde. Oh, somebody asked a question. Thanks for helping me, friends. What are you sewing on? Or loosen the top a tad. I should do that. All right, this one's pretty tight. I just like it really tight for the clear. They're beautiful. Yeah, thanks. How do you attach them? The cork tags. Yeah, Mary, they're from Heartwood and Hyde. She can help you design them even. Sprinkles would be cute with this bag. It would be, but I'm not going to do sprinkles with this bag. I should, but this will be good. Good enough. You know, I get down on myself. I'm like, oh, I should have done more. I do enough. It's okay. It'll be good. It'll be good. I will be recording my uh, beachcomber pouch with the sprinkles. So that will be pre-recorded on my channel Friday morning. All right, I'm going to put my needle down right in the corner about an eighth inch from both sides. And I just push my needle down by hand on this part. Four and a half is what I like to do for these printed tags, the cork ones. They're my favorite. The cork are my favorite for sure. And you can get tons of cool colors. Okay, so I put this piece of waterproof canvas right here. It protects the printing on the cork tag. Sometimes if your presser foot is high pressure, these little teeth can bite into the cork. And that's for any cork. If you just sew with cork, you'll, you'll have that experience. So usually I just use this. I've had this thing for years. It's a piece of waterproof canvas, like the OG kind with the plastic backing. And I have one edge folded over, but the, this plastic stuff is what grips on whatever you're making so it doesn't slide around. It works. I don't even know why I did that one day, but I did. All right, you're going to go down, and then when you're getting close to the edge, just kind of hand crank. Lift your foot up, look. Like, where is that needle going to go down? Not in the right spot. That's okay. Do one, and then do one other last full crank. And if it's not, okay, see, it's going to go off the edge here. Just slightly move your make so that it'll go where you want it to. Boop. And, you know, it's such a small variation that you really can't even tell. You can't tell. Oh, so I, I have these nails now? Okay. I was nervous. I'm a no, I'm a no nailer. I'm part of the no nail club usually because my job, I type like friggin' 30,000 plus strokes a day on my machine. But I really wanted nails. Just got like a little worm in my brain. And I was nervous about yesterday because I was also providing real time for the attorneys. And that means that as I'm writing the words, they see what I'm writing. So if I mess up, if I drop words, if I hit the wrong keys and a weird word comes up. Like the other day I wrote, I don't even know what the word was supposed to be. But I wrote fart with an L at the end. So it was like fartle. <laughs> and that came up on real time. I'm like, embarrassing. But uh, that's why I was uh, nervous about the nails. But I wrote better yesterday. So I told my husband, I'm like, I wrote better with the nails. He was like, oh, man, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, coming down. Okay. Ooh, that looks like it's honestly perfect. How did that happen? Usually I have to do it on one side and the other. Okay, there we go. 
I pulled my threads through to the back because I'm gonna end up putting my last stitch hole through there and I don't want it to... Oh, this looks good. Mm -hmm. I don't want the... Um... Sometimes your needle can go through the thread and then you've got like a tangle. It gets weird on my machine. Okay, so my stitch right here, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like too close to this. So I'm just going to actually move this down a little and push, make sure the needle goes down in between the two stitch holes so that it looks like even more even, if that makes sense. Even more even. Okay. All right, there we go. We good. Let's tie out these bad boys. You might be able to hear my kids listening to gamers. Kids watch gamers on the TV. That's weird. Like, you're watching people play video games? I guess. Like, it's no more cartoons. It's like, let's watch this person play a game. Why? That seems boring. They probably think the same of me, but whatever. And I cross-referenced other parents. Mine aren't the only weird ones. <laughs> It's a global thing, I think. All right. This looks pretty snazzy. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, fartle. I wrote some crazy words sometimes just to be funny when I'm not writing real time. I always write real time to my judge. So my judge can always see what I'm writing. Um, but sometimes if we're in trial, this is a secret. Okay. You can't tell people sometimes. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm what you guys are watching. I watch bag making too. I don't judge. I was just making sure it wasn't unhealthy, you know? Um, so back to my story, my judge, she gets real time all the time. So she gets to see everything, which I feel comfortable with her because I know her and she doesn't judge me. And she like will send me little messages during trial, like funny things I write. She's like, oh my God, epic going in the book. And so sometimes I'll write her notes. The first time I ever wrote her a note on the real time, the attorneys did not have the real time. And this kind of stuff gets edited out. I don't, I never just send out a transcript without editing it first. But I would just write funny notes like, you know, shut this guy up already. And she messaged me. She's like, oh my God, are you taking that out? I'm like, yeah, it was just to you. That's why it says comment. <laughs> oh, funny. Anyways. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, let me see here. Add that to the dictionary, fartle. Yeah, that, I've written some crazy stuff. You watch, oh, Danny, you play, you watch people play video games? My son does too. My um, oldest son, he's 23. See, that looks pretty dang good. And it's not totally even stitches, but who really notices? I'm telling, it's probably better than a bag you get at Target. Okay. All right, now our instructions say we are going to, well, first we're gonna find our instructions. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We did our centers. Excuse me, sir. Quit honking your horn. Who keeps honking their horn? Somebody's like a honk. They're like laying on the horn, making a song every morning. Like, wake me up before you go, go. All right. Mark the centers of the long and the short sides of each of the two pattern piece A pieces. Okay. The short sides as well, huh? All right. I'm trusting you. I need new scissors. I've had these Kai scissors forever and they're starting to get dull. I should just not be wasteful and get them sharpened, but where do you do that? I know my hairdresser has somebody that comes to her salon and sharpens her scissors, but I don't have that. Plus her scissors are crazy expensive. Mine are like 15 bucks on the Zon. But these Kai ones, they're legit. N5210. N5210 is what it says. I don't know if that's the model number or what. I 
I just love flowers. These are so cute. No, I don't want to give it away. I forgot my lady's name. Oh, shoot. If anybody's going to be um, around Las Vegas, Nevada in October, will you come to the Art in the Park in Boulder City and come see me? Because I'm going to have a booth there with my mom. Okay, I just want to have friends. I want to meet friends. I wish I could go to all these sewing things, and I just can't, and I'm, I'm sad. I'm big sad about it. Maybe I'll ask for it for my birthday for next year. Please let me go. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Fierce Kitten. Yeah, you know what? She's so cool. I just found her on YouTube the other day. I was like, oh, dang. Leslie knows where to get your scissors sharpened. Okay. Let's see. Oh, lefty scissors, I know. We need to get you, maybe um, those people that Lauren works with. Where's the bobbin boy from? That's all I know. The place with the bobbin boy um, with Sam. Maybe they can special make a left machine. Like, I don't see why. Well, I guess you really couldn't, huh? They have to weld this whole thing over here instead. I'm really bad for you for that. Danny wants to do the Mighty Messenger bag. Is that from Fierce Kitten? I didn't know she had a bag. Hey, Heather, I'm making a Southeast Travel pouch from Hills Handmade. It's free pattern on her site. I'm doing it for a swap real quick. Look at this. I'm almost at an hour. Girl, get your life together. Get it together. Okay. Wedding. We needed two 12-inch strips of wedding, webbing. So let me grab my webbing. Yeah, you betcha, Heather. Hopefully I don't bump you with my butt. I'm really trying hard not to. Okay. What, col what color do we want to do? Let's see what we got here. I'm going to just get around here. It's a little messy, sorry. This is normal. Huh? Real life here. Oh, I love this, but I'm not going to give her that. I'm sorry. This is mine. Okay. No, I'm not liking any options. I really need to buy some, like, solid color, but I can't justify buying more when I have so much. Unless Lauren sells it, then I buy it. Oh, you know, it would look amazing. <laughs> Why do I love stripes so much? I don't know. This would probably be the smarter option. Although, what do you guys think? Which one? Which? Which one? Here's our palette. I love a stripe. I'm sorry. I'm thinking the stripes. I don't know. Sam Abdo from Sunny Sewing. That's it. Sunny. You'll just have to forgive my memory. I had meningitis. Um, oh, probably like six years ago now. And so after I had that, my memory was really bad. I always had pretty good memory, to be honest with you. And my long-term memory is fine, but my short-term memory is just not that. It's not there. <laughs> Side note, look at this. What would you look at that? This is a hoard. Okay. Did you guys see the new pattern that came out today from Aura Rosa? The clutches? The wallet clutches. Let's see. Rainbow looks good. Yeah, rainbow is good. Oh, I'm feeling like this is more me, though. And I want to give her something that's like me. She likes Disney and flowers. But then she said she likes anything. So we really, we mean, that means she's polite, but she really wants Disney or flowers, right? So... Torn because you either really like stripes or you're like pass, pass or smash, right? You ordered more web too, Cause girl. I wish he was my mama. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna do stripes and bless her heart. I hope she likes it. It's really, I'm like giving you a piece of my heart if I'm giving you my stripes, right? Because I hoard these two. I hoard them, but I use them all the time. All right, two 12-inch strips. Alrighty. 
actually this I like striped webbing too because it's easy to cut. You can just see like, oh, there's the line on in between these two. Okay. Okay. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna heat seal my ends. Yeah, it's not a crafty reporter bag without the stripes. Oh, show. It's so funny because a couple years ago, I have found Nancy at Fabric Therapy. I don't even know how I found Nancy. It was after um, Jess Oakley Roots, she closed down her group. I found her and I had taken a break from sewing for like six months and I found Nancy and I loved her stuff and I'm like hey I want to be your friend <laughs> I literally I literally just messaged her and was like um I'd love to sew for you if you need a striker let's be besties and then she introduced me to Kayla and it's so funny because we all are like obsessed with stripes even before I met them I have tons of bags of stripes so it's meant to be all right, take one strip of the 12 inch webbing and place one end at the top two. In oh, that doesn't make sense. Place one end at the top two inches left of center and the other two inches right of center. Okay, that was worded a little weird, but we got what you were putting down there. Okay, get your ruler. Also, I'd like to put in a request, please. Um, Kayla, I really need another one of these. This is, this is my size, eight by two and a half. Look, it has a dent. Ew. Yeah, I need one of these real bad. Okay, two inches. I have old eyes, and this works really good for my old eyes. This. And we're going to place the one. Okay, is she going to... Oh, she put her bag tag one inch up from the bottom. We did one and a half didn't see that part probably should have looked a little further also I don't see that she's basting these weddings on but I'm going to so all right I don't need to repair anymore I know what we're doing I got it you were stalking me too I gotta go back my besties are everyone's loving stripes perfect yeah, rainbow might be too much past your tells. Yeah, it is pretty though. It does match. You need a link to the lighter? Um, I have one in my Amazon store. But the name on it, if you don't want to do all that, my link tree is in my Instagram bio. That's the only way I know to tell you to go there. It's Brispawn. B-R-I-S-P-O-N. Okay? Brispawn. The reason why I like this lighter is because you can refill it. And I go through some lighters. So we're doing, we're measuring two inches from that center mark we made earlier. And make sure you don't twist your webbing. Okay. Boop, boop. Perfect. I'm glad there's more clear patterns. Leslie and I are going to go live together and sew um, a pattern from... So flow, Brittany and so flow. We're gonna hack it because I was like, let's hack a pattern. I hacked that Mayfield at Shannon's request, and it was great. Because we don't have too many clear patterns. There's a few though. They're starting to become more more prevalent. I'm just basting these on because. Just think she didn't say to do that in the pattern but it just seems like the prudent thing to do okay what's the name of the bag we're sewing leslie i know it has partially your name in it and kasaya's right <laughs> Messiah. oh it just came to me it's a cute backpack. Come you. All right, one done. Do the other. And then we're going to sew on the gusset. Mm -hmm. 
my feature fray for the tool is going to be the camo strap ends from Carolina Little Stitches. It's going to be amazing. I think people are liking those little feature Fridays and the What You Know Wednesdays. I was trying to just come up with some content. Because unfortunately, you have to constantly post. Which, honestly, do I mind? No. Not at all. Okay. It's, oh, that's just darling. Oh, I never moved you back. Meow. I am looking into, I've added it to my cart. I'm going to get a mount for my ceiling. Um, so my, so I can just kind of like go like this with my phone. I think that'll be cool, right? I'll have to call my brother over here to help me. Also, I wanted to see, I don't know what everyone sews on. I have an 1181N by Juki, but my brother helped me change the oil on my machine a few months ago. And I recorded it, him like showing me how to do it. He's a diesel mechanic by well, he went to school to be a diesel mechanic. He works at the water district now, but he's like a mechanic guy. So I was like, please change my oil. I had never changed it in like years. It makes a difference. Okay, you got to do it. It was very simple, but he showed me what to do and I can show you guys if that's something that people want. I don't know if I've seen an oil changing video for this machine, which is why I was freaked out to do it. <laughs> Cause I'll, I feel like you could learn anything with YouTube. And Google, okay? There's no excuse to not know how to do something. It may be hard, but you get how to do it, right? Okay. You were stalking me? No, you weren't, Kayla. Oh, you're going to send them things, Danny? That would be awesome. I'll show you. Okay. Now we're going to attach the gusset. Okay, yeah, that's just basic. Actually, I really like this pattern. It is just simple enough. I bet you you can make one of these in a couple minutes easy. It didn't take very much. I'm just lining up these center marks right sides together. Oh, yeah, I'll flip it out. There we go. Yeah, this is rad. Cute, 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 mine. So I'm going to do how I always do and sew with my gusset on the table instead of my back panel or front panel on the table. Just because I like it that way better. I should also probably put some binding on this. Some black and white stripe binding. Maybe. I got this binding from Tammy. You know how she does the resist? No, not the resist. The bound is called bound. I did. You know what? That does not matching up. Okay, well, whatever. I got that and she added adhesive to it. I was like, dang, smart. Smarty pants. I gotta try it. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, I'm thinking I gotta. So I marked these small centers, but I must not have followed the directions right because I don't know where it was supposed to line up on the gusset. This is probably why you shouldn't sew a YouTube video without doing one first, huh? Mm, where's that paper? Ah, second page. I have them all mixed up. This is why I don't do paper. I like to just scroll. Oh, that's the last page. Ah, I know what I did. This is what we gotta do. Backtrack. Mark up your center, match up your center marks here. And then mark over here. See how I did that? Now that makes sense. I just, I do recommend to do this because it will just make sure your bag isn't crooked. Because... Can happen. Man, the alcohol on this TPU worked great. It's still clear. The only thing, I mean, TPU shows fingerprints a little bit, but 
It's really hot in Las Vegas, so I was concerned about making things with this TPU to sell. But if I clean it first, I need to like do a test run and just keep one in my car. Actually, I did make a pencil pouch with TPU. So I'll be checking that out. Okay, there we go. Marked those centers. Let's try this again. All right. There we go. I gotta try that. I gotta get back on Twitch. Is that what's called Twitch, right? Yeah. I was watching a lady, um, I almost bought, a, this is like another craft hobby you start, right? I have an entire setup for lace tatting. Um, this lady that I found her on TikTok. Man, TikTok is a dangerous place for creative people, I swear. I found her on TikTok and she was like hand crocheting. Basically, it's a type of like naughty and she makes handmade lace and she makes like necklaces and chokers and stuff like they're gorgeous literally statement pieces from the gods just gorgeous and i got all the stuff to do it but i was watching her she would do it live on i think it was called twitch that was a cool platform my daughter asked for it too because she wanted to watch people game on there I told her, okay, well, I just have to check how much it is. I didn't remember if it was money or not. I think it's free, but if you can, like, support their channels or something like that. It is a pretty cool medium. And I do know Fierce Kid's pretty boss over there. I would definitely go watch her. I like her. She's funny. Okay. I liked her, her series. She, I don't know if she just started it, but I just found it. It's called Seam Ripping. She kind of just goes off about a topic. I'm like, yeah. The last one was putting bag, your labels on your bags. I put my labels on my bags. I'm, you're not going to make me feel bad about it. Okay, cool. Now we're ready to sew that one up. Yeah, the seam ripping, right? It's so cool. I loved it. I was like literally cackling while I was cutting out a bag. I'm like, this is wonderful. Because we all think it. But she says it. Okay. Um, do you want me to move you to the other side so you can watch me do the gusset? Or are you good? Otherwise, you'll just see my hand. Mandy. Hey, Mandy. Sorry, I'm just going back and catching up here. Epic 2 by Viking. Ooh, I have like a brother domestic. I don't do my, I do my appliques on there. My goal is to be as good as best auntie shop ever or best auntie ever shop. Yeah. Her appliques, how she does a mash up. I mean, I don't want to be a copycat, but copying is the highest form of flattery. I want to do something like that. Like I won't do exact copy, but I want to do a mash up. Yes. Oh, hi Tori. Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna move you. And I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to be quiet about it. When I get my new setup, it'll be better because I can just swing you around. But for now, we're not that cool. You guys want to see a glimpse of my tiny? This room is like ten by ten. And it's not very big. Looks good to me. I'll zoom you in like I normally do. Alright, got my hemostats. Also, Leslie makes customized ones that are rainbow. These are just cheapies off Amazon. What a genius idea, by the way, Leslie. Alright, I'm not going to start in a corner. Don't 
commit. Don't make yourself crazy. Let's see what the seam allowance is on this. That we didn't check. Okay, she clips the corners. I'm not clipping the corners. If you don't sew it flat, you don't have to clip the corners that way. Do you see how it's kind of, she's like sewing it with the flat, the panel down instead of the gusset? Yeah, we're not doing that. Quarter inch. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I think I'll just do my normal technique. One eighth, attach the binding, quarter, flip it over, top stitch binding. Takes a little longer, but I like the results. Okay, one, we got it on a 4.5 stitch length, which is my attaching stitch length. And I'm just gonna make sure my handles aren't crooked before I stitch over them. I like stitching clear vinyl because it kind of sticks to itself, so you don't really need clips too much here. I'm not even using my hand stat yet. We will on these corners though. This is kind of a Sorry, I lost you for a minute. Hopefully you're back. I'm not sure what happened. Um, sorry about that. Okay, we're, I didn't do anything. Can anyone tell me if I have captions um, available on here? I just want to make sure. They're not the best, but it's better than nothing. Just for my hearing impaired friends. Oh yeah, I froze. I, I think it's because my kids are watching games on the TV. Maybe. I don't know. Or it reset. Who knows? Okay. TV. Maybe. I don't know. Or it reset. Who knows? Okay. We're going off the rails here a little bit. Oh yeah, you went way off the rails, friend. Let's pull this out. This is what happens sometimes. It's a sharp corner to turn, honestly, for this quitter vinyl. So let's see what happens here. We went off the rails about here. So we're just going to go back. You could staple if you want. I'm just going to clip and go back. That's what I get for talking and walking. Back stitch. to go from the to go from the um what am I thinking here put our panel down yeah these corners are just too sharp I have to do that on the heartbreaker too on the dip at the top it's just like too it's fine it's too sharp of a corner for me to get this way for some reason I'm just cutting Stitching, seam ripping. It's okay, this stuff will be covered with binding, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. Also, where did this? I have like a piece of double stick tape on this or something? It's really, oh no, that's not. That's, anyways. Okay. Well, I guess we are going to go from the top here. Much to my dismay, I'm just going to do the corner though. Can you see me? Okay. I'm just kind of pinching this corner where the actual corner would be. gonna walk it out. Every time I say that, I'm gonna think in my brain that song. Now walk in. I thought Kayla was gonna make us a remix of that rap. Is it that song, Kayla? Yeah, for sure on this guy, this is the way to do this. A little bit of a... Oh, she's trying to bite this early in the morning. You better check yourself. Okay, cool. Got that corner done. I just realized I was going the wrong way. Welcome to real life sewing with Amber. 
where we F up. I just hate editing videos, so it's fine. <laughs> Legit over an hour, guys, already. Oh, we're almost done, though. Let's go where we were already. Where we stopped originally. We'll just do it with the panel down for the attaching. Once we get it attached, though, we should be able to just do it the way I usually do it, I don't think. Which is 10 out of 10 easy. Maybe 9.5 because that corner is a little sharp. It'll be easier with this jelly though. tunes on here. Normally I have music on. Funny so I for sure though could see jelly vinyl rippling or leaving a little surprise friend, which is rude. So just be careful as you go around. Have for breakfast. Are you a breakfast eater? I'm an every all the meal eaters, but I try not to be a breakfast eater because it just goes downhill from there and just keep eating. I'm trying to do that fasting stuff. Who came up with that? Bad idea. It's so funny too like the pickiest people are blessed with the best metabolism that's my husband <laughs> i'm like i wish i could eat whatever i wanted what but genetics were not on my side in that department this is why i hate doing it this way I'm hoping I can switch over to my other way when we get this basted on. There we go. What other YouTube channels do you guys like to watch? I need some more on my feed. Let me know, let me know. Sorry, I haven't checked the chat in a minute. Oh. We're almost done. Okay, there we go. That was an adventure. Now, before I attach my binding, I'm just going to trim up any corners that didn't match up perfectly. Because it just makes your binding go on a little more evenly if you can I don't want to work today I don't have to work for money who came up with such a concept I'll do my part in the garden invite me to your co-op okay that's good we did good we did good I mean we may do oh she's partying Okay, let me get my binding. It's right behind you. Hold, please. Ooh, yeah. Let's use the one and a quarter that we just got. 
This is Lux, one and a quarter, my special request from Nancy. A pepper tape so that we can hide all raw edges. Go ahead and clip it on. We're gonna fold wrong sides together, just a little smidge here. Thank you, Mandy. All right, that's my kid, one of my kids. We call them the, the littlest McLeans. Emma and Max. We call him Bubba. I don't even know why. It's cute, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna pop them around here. So I am attaching the binding on the, I think this is the back panel, not on the gusset side first because then when we fold everything in, um, the prettiest side will be seen from the outside of the bag. So that's why we do it this way. The, um, like if you're going to have one raw edge, it'll at least be tucked behind the seam. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut this. We want a little bit of overhang, not this much, but I can't maneuver this right now. Okay. So you can clip it kind of at the ends, but we're not gonna start sewing where these two touch. That'll be the last thing, because you wanna be able to have this for, one second. Okay, can you keep it down just a smidge, please? Love you. Keep it down just a smidge, please. Thank you. Okay. So go ahead and I'm going to try to switch it over to this way because then I can keep my hand in here and help guide it. I just like it better. All right, quarter inch seam allowance. Do not start where the two ends meet. Start somewhere else. And this will affect the shape of your bag, so just be careful. My um, binding is doesn't have enough give, so I just unclipped it a little bit. I'm pulling my bag towards me as I'm going, and we're gonna just kind of fold and lift my presser foot. Let's put our let's put our needle down first. Lift my foot and rotate. I'm gonna just try to push this binding out of the way. I don't want to make a ripple if I can avoid it. Okay. Now I'm going to lift my foot up again and readjust my bag. Pull my binding out. Make sure it's going to go all the way down into this corner we're going to stitch on. through it that would have been hard to base stitch it if you're gonna do it that way I would probably do it with the back panel down unfortunately I just like that way but it works okay now this is the jelly vinyl part and it's a little bit more stretchy of a material so We'll just go down as far as we can. I definitely don't want to, if I'm going to get a ripple, it'll be right here. Needle down and then lift our foot up and kind of rotate. I'm using my hand under here to pull this 
out of the way and kind of make sure we're not going to bunch. Pull your binding over. You're either a binding person or you're not, but I do think it's a skill you should try to be somewhat proficient at because you are going to kind of miss out on some patterns if you don't, you know? And I gotta be honest, I've used, I've turned some patterns into a binding, uh, like a bound bag because I'm like, eh, I think it'd be easier this way. It was for me. Case and point the math pack. Man, that little tight corner. I made one the first time when I was testing it without binding, and I was just like, Oop, my hands. Help. Okay. Keep the curve here. There we go. Now we can straighten out. Push that into the corner a little. Whenever I get on a straightaway, I'm like, yes. <laughs> zero stretch so it'll be good to make it like a good bones for your pouch yeah you could totally add um the only thing someone had asked about making it into a crossbody i don't think you'd you want it what you'd want to do theoretically i'm gonna say is lengthen the gusset panel with just the jelly vinyl probably to I do like four inches and then subtract four inches from the zipper, the zipper panel and the zipper overlay. That way your seam is higher up and then you could attach like a piece of, you know, one inch by three inch on each side, jelly vinyl or vinyl for like a D-ring connector. You could do that. But as this pouch stands right now, the gusset seam is too far down for that personally your bag will flip upside down so that's what I would do I would just um, do that yeah okay I'm gonna lift up my zipper or, yeah lift up my foot and same thing we've been doing and because this is TPU it should be pretty dang simple to turn out That TPU man. Mm -hmm. Jelly vinyl is even softer, honestly. She's like the jello salad of the picnic. check the messages in one second here. Hard part's almost over. I probably would bind this though because it's a little bit sharp, you know? You don't have to. It's, it's a nice touch. Okay, my binding is trying to go over. So let's put you back on track, friend. It won't matter too much because... Okay. Make sure this one stays folded over here. Flip it. The original tail or restarted. You don't want to sew over it on accident coming down this. Oh, I might have to, yeah, I'm too far, I'm too far off track, so we're just going to take it off, and right here is a little bit, I mean, that's not too bad, but this was, like, going, like, that much, it was bad. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to fold around. It's kind of a fluid thing, binding. 
want to make sure my, oh, my thread is shredding. Did you know I played the trumpet? It's pretty good at it. It made me a really good whistler, believe it or not. My husband's so good at whistling. He can do like these bird sounds. It's nuts. Micro talents. That's what I call them. You played the trumpet too, Mandy? That's rad. I was like in jazz band and honor band. I was on our state, Nevada's band. They have like a band for like kids in school. We made a CD, we played it at Ham Hall. That actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, almost made that my profession. Cause being on the stage with the people and the audience and the lights on you, whoa, goosebumps. Right? I mean, wow. I could see how it would get addicting being in showbiz. <laughs> Cause it's pretty fun. Okay, we are almost there. So just make sure your one side's folded and that your end tail is overlapping a bit because that will make the seam finish nice. There we go. That was a little bit crazier than anticipated. All right. Now we're gonna fold over. This is my favorite part. Okay. Let me check messages real quick. No captions on your end. Hmm. I need to replace my Walker bag with a clear bag. There you go. This rose vinyl, yeah, I'm sure she has a hoard of it. She's gonna have retail soon at Fabric Therapy. Community jazz band. You know, it's funny too because I have like this gap right here. You see that? And I have a permanent indent on the inside of my lip from pressing the trumpet on it. It like will be there my whole life. It's wild. Okay, we're just gonna fold down this side a little and then flip it over. So I start at the end tail and then clip. Okay, I better hurry up. I gotta go clock in to work. Oh, there's people outside, huh? My neighbor's had his air conditioner broke for like a bajillion years, it feels like. He has new people every day over here fixing it. I'm like, honey, I think it's time to get a new one. You can't save it, <laughs> you know? He's just really trying to make it work. When you look at the thing, it looks like it's from 1974. I mean, it's so old. We just got a new one last year, so I know his has got to be ready. Okay, I just hand fold. You could probably, well, I don't know if you can iron this stuff. I haven't tried it. I bet you you could. Sorry, I just gotta cheat and look. Where these two um, ends overlap, it can get kind of thick. So just try to make sure that your fold, if you're doing this way, that it's actually lined up well. Like, see this, this is not lined up the best right here. And this is just a top stitch, so, yeah. Just for looks. But you don't want your, I gotta move it, sorry. You don't want your binding to go too far. I mean, this is clear, so try to line it up a little with the other side, you know, make it a quarter inch. You should be able to pretty much, cause there's not much bulk, fold this down to the top of the vinyl line and then fold it over. Spots with the handle and stuff, it's a little thicker, so. Cool. Would I make this again? Yeah, I would actually. 
I think I'll try the hack for the crossbody. That might be nice. So whatever you add to your bottom gusset, just take it away from your top zipper and panels. I did that for the Mav pack. I made my zipper a little longer because I have bigger hands and it was just kind of... I mean, I don't know how tall Lynn's is. She seems kind of tiny though. And I have large hands, so it was like a little bit of a tight squeeze for my hand. With the way the... I don't know if any of you pattern test, but when you pattern test, they always want you know, to make it just how their pattern says. And then you can, depending on the designer, make suggestions. Um, I try not to, but you can. Some are cool with it. Some want your feedback like that. Some don't. They just want you to make the pattern. So it's like, whatever. Whatever works for you. There we go. I probably, is her name Hillary, the girl at Lynn's Handmade? Or not Lynn's Handmade. Hill's Handmade. Sorry, I mean, that was easy to confuse though, right? Um, I should have told her we were doing this. But this is how I do a lot of my lives. I don't plan them. I just, okay, get on. I think it helps my anxiety just to do it. I was hoping my trial would be over by Friday so I didn't have to do a pre-recorded video for the beachcomber. I really wanted to go live, but also me with an hour time slot, lol, right? <laughs> In your dreams, girlfriend. Okay, we're almost there. You could also glue this down. You could double side tape it down. I probably should have double side taped it down. It would have been faster, maybe. You just get in your ways, you know, and you're just like, meh, this is how I do it, it's fine. Worked before. Okay, that's good. I'm just tucking this corner in pretty tight here. All right, we're gonna top stitch it. We're playing bobbin chicken, because I did not check my bobbin before I started this. All right, don't start on the corner, that's suicide. I'm gonna go like halfway in between each edge here. Five length. How big is this compared to the Aura Rosa? Hmm. You have a gap too. How funny, Mandy. Besties! Um, you know, it's very similar to the Aura Rosa actually. I would say uh, pretty dang close, really, actually. Uh, the curves are a little more sharp than the Ororosa. I think the Ororosa would be a little easier if you wanted a hack back clear. Ooh, that would be fun. That would be a fun clear hack. Has anyone tried it? I think I've seen that, actually, now that I think about it. I know I've seen Carrie at Carried Away. She has done a clear, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna hand walk around this corner. It's okay, this stitch won't affect the shape of your bag or make wrinkles or anything. You're just, it, it's good, you're gravy. It's all gravy, baby. I was listening to the song and it says like, I love you like biscuits and gravy and I, I felt that. Cause I really love biscuits and gravy. I'm just making sure this is staying tight around the edge here. And if there's any parts that don't really tack down so well, just use glue. You know, it's fine. Some of the bags I get from stores, I'm just like, what? I don't even buy the bags at the stores anymore. Now I just look at them and take pictures. Like, who's this weird lady in Walmart just taking pictures of our bags? What is she doing? I'm like, research. Mind your business, Karen. Not that our Karen is a Karen. Sorry, Karen. That's probably derogatory to Karen's, huh? 
Sorry, friend. Oh, she's a thick seam. Do not put your two seams intersecting over a webbing. That was not well thought out. So if you have a domestic machine, don't do that, friends. See, these are notes I would put on my in my notebook. I should have still done it. Did you see Fabric Therapy is going to get micro um, signature stripes? What? Sign me the hell up. I told Nancy, can I just get on a monthly subscription? <laughs> you just send me cool stuff. All the new stuff. Her um, glitter clear vinyl is nothing to joke about. Okay. I can't wait to get some. I've seen sneaks. Maybe I wasn't supposed to tell you about it. I don't know. Probably not. Me and my fat mouth. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, man. We're going to turn this out just to see it. Because I need the dopamine after that workout. Although they do recycle and we never used to as a kid, so maybe that's why. I'm just getting any little edges. I mean, it's nice. Let's see how it looks. Let's turn it. Just push your corners out. Boop. See how that, I wasn't sure how the corners would be because it's kind of a sharp turn, you know? It's great. Can you see? I'm sorry. How selfish of me. Okay. She's rad. I think that when I make this next time, I don't know that I'll do jelly vinyl or I'll do jelly vinyl like behind the clear. Because the only thing is it's like so flimsy that I don't know that that's good for the bottom of the bag. You know, like it might be like a saggy diaper <laughs> a little bit. We'll see. This stuff, especially with the uh, binding, that corner is pretty sharp. I might change the corner angle as well, personally. I mean, it's not bad though. But I think I would put this under some clear so you still have the pretty floral down here, you know? That's cute. One more time. and chicken we're we're playing it right now oh you so oh heather you tried the this way for your binding yeah i feel like that's where i learned it either her and also um jassy at sophisticated cross design she's she does binding too i was a tester for her last year i just didn't have time this year to commit to her but um She's got some cool patterns too, but she's the one I got the uh, hemostat trick from. All right, now let's put on our front. I guess this will be our front. I gotta hustle. I gotta go clock in and get ready to go to court this afternoon. My kids get to go swimming at the pool with Grandma today. Lucky. 
to listen about lane widths. So fun. Yesterday we had a an economist. What? 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 Numbers? I'm not a number person anyway, Sarah. That's why I work with words. Can you slow down saying all those Brazilian... What was their currency called? Reals? Which looks like the word real. So then my reporter um, team and I were like, how do we do this? Should we capitalize it? Should we italicize it? So people don't think we're writing just the word real. Like, it's real. It's been real. Like, hmm, well, it's not really our job to clarify what was said. It's the attorney's. I just think it's real. I'm all for not giving myself extra work for something that honestly nobody cares about but us. I bet you nobody cares about that. No attorneys aren't even going to notice. They probably don't even know how to spell it. To be honest with you. I mean, some of them are smart enough for that, but nobody cares but us. Just like I thought... Because they were like, maybe we should cap it. Well, the American, like the word dollar isn't capped. You don't cap dollar. Why would we cap real? Nah, we're just going to go ham. Okay, so this time I'm just going to do it this way. I dislike it, but I'll do it. I'm going to go back down to 4.5. Hi, Perla. Thanks, Cindy. Cindy says, simply beautiful. I haven't gotten to the video for the uh, pencil pouch yet, Perla. Perla was one of the ones who wanted it. I, I will get to it. I just want to make some changes to it a little. Just a few things. Guess what? It's blazing hot in my room again. Maybe it's because of the lights. The door is shut. Yeah, for sure, probably wouldn't do a jelly bottom without... It actually would be good with an extra layer of TPU over it because the bottom should be thicker anyways, in my opinion, because that's what bears the weight, you know? Just my two cents. And this jelly vinyl... Oh, let's open up our zipper here. I like to put my hand in on these corners sometimes. Gotta push it out. I've got to start cutting out my Tuesday toe out on pieces tonight. editor for tonight so I don't have to do my transcript when I get home myself. I have her do it. She's available so frees me up to do what I want. Worth every penny. She told me, oh I raised my rates this year. I'm like, oh that's nice. Wish I could raise my rates. They're set by law. I can't. <laughs> um, we get a raise at the end of this year on page rates. It has to go through like the Senate. It's like a whole ordeal. We haven't had a raise in like 10 years on those rates. They're outdated. And our editors, they get to charge more. I mean, they raise their rates. So we just keep getting less and less money instead of a pay raise on the pages. Because we get paid per page on pages. I have my salary to show up there too. Which is enough if I'm being honest. But um, the page rates are where you make all your extra fun sewing money. So she raised her rates, and I was like, that's fine. I mean, you're worth it, honestly. I told her, you're worth your weight in gold. What else? Thanks for letting me know. Must be nice. Like, what, am I gonna not use you? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Kinda got me by the cojones here. She's nice, though. She was not, like, being malicious. It's just... Oh, it's just life. Alright, 
This was much faster this time, so just do it the way the pattern says, I guess. Whatever. It works. in the void of YouTube live time. Oh, you want to you wanna play games with me right now? You better get in line, Gusset. You better know your place. Okay? It's right at the end. Wait, wait. That was much faster this time. Trim any excess. I have an Australian Shepherd. He's a herding dog, so he like constantly is in, out, in, out, patrolling the house. He patrols during the day. It's crazy. He's so neurotic, he has to do it. He can't just like chill. So if you hear him breathing heavily, it's because he's literally running around like a mad person. Like a mad canine. All right, we're gonna be smarter this time. We're not gonna start that over there where the handle is. Hold over, right sides together, clip it in place. Maybe I should just be a rebel and do a big long piece and not clip it. Oh. Do I dare? This is more wasteful, and I don't like that, but Nancy's gonna find it. I can get more. Gusset Central. I don't know why I just got like an image of Batman when I said that. Gotham City. Okay. Stitching. Lining and stitching. This is a quarter inch. Taking a walk on the wild side. Not clipping it down first. This might be a bad idea. Might be a wonderful idea. How much time are we really going to save here, though? I don't know. Okay. Pull your... I'm just pushing down on my corner here because I don't want my gusset to give me wrinkle. Yeah, this corner is pretty sharp. I would probably make this less sharp personally for the next one. Um, one's good enough to mail out. So far so good. <gasps> we lost. We lost the bobbin chicken. Damn it. Congratulations. Oh and it's right on the corner. Are you joking me? Wow. Well that's rude if I ever did see rude. I have no thread that's pink loaded as a bobbin. So we're gonna do the next best cream. Can you really tell? We'll see. Okay, there we go. 
Here we go. I would love to know what goes through my dog's mind. Okay, here we go. Well, we didn't get very far, did we? Where did you end up? Over here, right in the corner. Oh, it's okay, because we had a reef gold. Look at that. All right, we're gonna start down here and go around. I mean, I'm tempted to do it with the pant with the gusset up, but then I can't see my binding. That's fine, just go. Maybe also too, it's hard to do this um, curve because the materials are so thin. That probably also plays a part in it, I'm thinking. I'm hoping I don't get a ripple, but I probably might in this corner. It's fine. I wanted to start a podcast. People I've asked have told me no so far. Or ghosted me and not said anything. So, I'm thinking, maybe I don't want to do podcasts. I think people like the idea of listening to it, but they don't like the idea of being on it. Which I get. I mean, that's probably a bit wrecking. I wouldn't. I would be fine. You can ask me to be on your podcast, but... I would think if you do YouTube, you'd do a podcast just like mm -hmm. Just gonna push this down here. Maybe one more. Rotate that around. Puppy power. What is that from? Puppy power. Can't remember why I walked in a room, but I can remember random songs from the nineties on cartoons. This one was a little bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I feel comfortable sending this out. We'll have to see. Might be okay, but... Probably I should have clipped, for sure. Where's my distance? I think that that would have been easier for me to navigate this. So where we save time on the base, we lost time on the bike. Am I the only human that takes over an hour to sew a pouch? Probably. At least I made binding long enough, though. So there's that. My brother was telling me, you take way too long on your videos. I was like, I know, but I don't know how I can go faster. <laughs> and he's like, you gotta, like, cut it down. You got People don't need to see all that stuff. And I was like, well, I feel like the people that are watching are people that want to see that stuff, though. Like, you're not gonna watch me make a bag. He's like trying to make me a YouTuber for the masses. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really even, I mean, I like doing this now, but I mean, I don't need to do this, you know, it's just for fun. So that was a funny conversation. He was telling me, you know, make it more like a blog, I think. And I was like, mm. it's like, well, that's what people watch. If you want like tons of followers, and I was like, I don't really know that I want tons of followers, you know? Not sure about that one, bro. He calls me bro as well, so I don't know why. He just does. He's like, bro, grossive. He's 
like a classic car mechanic guy. That makes that tracks, right? From East Las Vegas. Yeah. Or they all his buds. They, they all talk like that. No offense. I mean I do too from the east side. It's more than just the east side thing. It's just it's generally short. I haven't even been chucking you guys. I've just been sewing. Scrappy from Scooby Doo. Yes! I know. How dare that bobbin run out on me? Root. I'll remember that one. You want more thread? I'll remember. You know, you're hungry and you want more thread? Mm mm. Ain't happening. I, I knew it would happen though. I, it was, I knew I was close. But I didn't want to be wasteful. corner will be the death of me. Oh, we're surviving and thriving though. Remember, don't be too hard on yourself because have you seen the binding in bags at the store? Yikes. That's all I gotta say. Yikes. Okay. I sewed a little bit over the beginning. Um, I'm just gonna trim this down because I did make it a little bit too big. We're almost done because this has no strap so yay. do i torture myself and leave the strap for last nine times out of ten i do and i don't want to finish it but i do and i'm just kind of like oh i wish i would have done this in the beginning kind of like when you wait too long to do a project and then you're like eh. why did i procrastinate i don't know my kids are lit they must have ate some cereal they need to go swimming today for sure. Have fun, Grandma. little project though this would be good for the sojo for sure if you're a little low and you need a little booster definitely cute what was some of your favorite gas station snacks growing up did you have like stuff you would always get when i was a kid going to the gas station was such a treat it was like get straight a's now you can have a big old country and then when I got into middle school, kids, when we'd walk home, we'd always stop, like, at the Terribles that had, like, a McDonald's attached to it. But we'd buy, like, bags of hot Cheetos and then, like, dump nacho cheese sauce in it. That was our thing. That and Twix. I don't know. How was I so tiny? <laughs> because you were just a child, that's why. But I perpetually live in my middle school mindset. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds great. Go ahead and eat that when you're dying on the toilet. Like, I swear, I eat it every day. For sure, add two layers of the jelly vinyl or at least a jelly vinyl and a clear on your bottom gusset on this bag. I wouldn't just do a jelly bottom personally. Just because it's a little bigger. Maybe on like a smaller boxy bag or a pencil pouch. But it's softer than the TPU, you know? So it's kind of like. They don't match. It'd be like doing a vinyl top and a woven bottom, you know? Not in series. Okay. Finisher. Isn't that for Mortal Kombat? Pretty sure it is. Top stitch link. Let's go. see 
lights in my way, but I'm trying to keep the light out of your way. Normally my light's like down here. The guy thing, yeah, yeah. My son says it a lot too. And my daughter Emma, she's like, he keeps calling me bro. <laughs> I don't like it. Like, ask him to stop. I don't know that he could at this point. Too. Making the first of anything always does take a little longer, too. So, like, I have that in my defense a bit. Okay. I don't know what my excuse was on that strawberry bag. I was looking at my video, I'm like, oh my goodness, over three hours. That was wild. That applique, though, really takes a while. Um, Fabric Therapy is going to be doing like a game around soon. And. I got Animal Crossing as mine, so I want to do one of those mashups with characters. I want to do the little, um, I'm thinking the, the bear from, you know like the sewing bear in the game, Stitches or something it's called, I can't remember the name. Um, I want to put some character wearing the bear as a costume, like a, like a bear costume, but it's stitches with the, you know, or I could do another character too, but what do you think? I don't know. I just thought that would be fun. I'm going to be testing soon heat transfer vinyl on vinyl because I'm pretty sure looking at her pictures, that's how she does the fine details um, for best auntie ever shop. I'm pretty sure that's how she does the fine details, like um, some of her mashup apple plays. But I gotta find what's the right temp settings to the right uh, vinyl, you know? I'll figure it out, I'll let you know. Okay, so part of this is one side's pink thread and the other side's ivory, I guess would be the color. You can't tell. You can't really tell. Unless you're looking for it. And that would be just rude. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty dang good, though. I mean, I don't know. Okay. See how this is kind of... Yeah, I would definitely do a double layer there if you want to use the jelly. Also, and that would be nice too because you don't have to worry about ghosting. All right, we're going to turn it out and we're done. And I appreciate you being here for... Oh my gosh. Oh. Hopefully you were doing something fun while you're watching. Okay. Ready? Here she goes. I just put my thumbs on the corners and push out the corners first on the zipper panels and you can kind of lay your binding around it. Okay. Now. straps a little longer too. Also, I have big hands, so maybe not, you know, but like 12 inches. Mm, I guess. Yeah, that works. This would be a good like art caddy for a kid. I mean, the travel pouch too, for sure. But like an art pouch for a kid. I'll make sure to show which one I get on Instagram if you're over there and follow me. Get my stories. We have fun in my stories. Okay. Nice. Just gonna roll my edges. 
else. So because this jelly is so much thinner, it's kind of not wanting to stay pushed out. And I do have a little ripple here, but it's not bad, really. Can't be mad at it. But do you see how it kind of wants to pucker in here? Yeah, it's too thin. Need another layer on the outside to make it thicker. So, this is cute though. We made it to the pattern, so. First time I always try, unless someone says, for sure do it this way. There she is. Cute combo though. Hello. Next time, handles longer two layers on the bottom and I would lengthen the bottom gusset by let me see I'll tell you exactly by how much because then you could do your crossbody straps if that was what you were wanting um by three make the bottom three inches longer and the top zipper zipper panel and zipper overlay three inches less that's what I would do It'll probably be a little bit, because uh, if you added a D-ring down here, she's going to flip. Yeah. Very cute, though. All right, thanks for sewing with me. I got to go get ready for work. Womp womp. Hopefully you like this, friend. If you don't, you can just send it back, okay? <laughs> I'll give it. Three inches on both sides. No, do three inches total. I think it'll be an inch and a half higher over here. So let's see. An inch and a half would put your jelly all the way up here, which is about halfway. Thanks, Mary. So I think that having it like this high for your seam would be better. And then you can add a, you know, a one inch D ring with a little, you know how to do it, right? I think you do. That's what I would do. Three inches total, an inch and a half each side. So make this three inches longer and all th these parts three inches shorter. And then that'll just move your seam up here, okay? But look how clear it is. I cleaned this TPU. If you saw on my uh, What You Know Wednesday, it was a little bit cloudy. Look how clear it is. I'm glad I put a tag on it too. It turned out great. All right, that's all I have. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I always do this. Dang. I was just talking to Lauren about this. Dang it. I have to save it again. Oh, darn. The woven label collection. Who's getting sewing blurbs? Did anyone get it yet? No, it's too early, huh? I'm excited for you to get June. You'll see why. I think that's it. You have to turn your sound off. Yeah, I know it is a it is a triggering sound for some for sure. My son would agree with you. All right, friends. Bye. Have a great day. We're halfway to Friday.